Hey, it's Frank and Mint. Did you know that cannabis is a food source? Yeah, that's right. Cannabis is a food source. You should not be using the, you know, the actual bud because that's just way more effective to smoke. We're talking about consumption for caloric intake. So what you want to do is as you trim your leaves, right, occasionally like lollipopping and stuff to get your leaves, just eat them. No, it works as a food source. I know, right? You wouldn't know unless you did it and grew and figured this out. And by large, society isn't going to tell you that. They're just going to tell you it's a drug. It's a dangerous drug. It does nothing but harms lives. Well, this is a food stock. You can eat the leaves. They're digestible. And each of them have like a distinctive flavor profile. This is from Patty. This tastes like celery. Or I said celery. No, no, no. This tastes like parsley. Mm. It's good. Chop it down. Tastes exceptional and some pesto. You no? Know? Yeah. Patty, these leaves taste exactly like parsley. Now, Laura, right? The last plant we harvested. Laura tastes a little bit like grapes, like grape leaves. And um, the Afghan gooey from before, same. It tastes a little bit like grape leaves. I will point out, though, that the um, the uh, the other leaves I, uh, I I ate, like the couple leaves ago, they're kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, cannabis itself, like, cannabis itself, I think, is slightly acidic. Like, if you tried just eating RSO or just eating straight concentrate, sometimes when you eat it, it'll burn, right? It'll be like, ah, it's kind of burning. And I don't, I mean, I think of like O-X-A-L-I-C or something, o oxalic acid or something like that, where it's um, it's got like the slightly kind of annoying burning sensation. And I would say that some leaves have a little more than that than others. And so it'll be kind of like a little spicy, but like a little spicy, but not spicy with heat, just like, some eat drinking water doing whatever just like kind of get makes it go away but yeah this these work well it's a good food stock so that's what I wanted to share I want to tell it to y'all mm. Another thing, too, is um, I've heard, I tried it, but it didn't affect me the same, but I've heard that <coughs> trying to joke here. Sorry. <coughs> Call an ambulance, but for me, right? Yeah, so... <clears throat> there we go. I was going to say, um, there's actually like a video that uh, I, I pointed out a long time ago. If I've made a thousand videos, you can, if you find it, please feel free to link it. I would love that. But basically, um, I think the guy's name was Mike. He, um, he had his own video where he showed that you can run the weed leaves through a juicer and you can mix that with like a little bit of orange juice. I think it was orange juice, right? And, um, that would like make kind of like a weed smoothie out of it and that would activate it and it would work on just the leaves and foliage. Now, I wasn't able to get that to work, um, but just the same, it's on the same principle that yeah, like these are completely fine, you can eat these. And I'm just here to agree that yeah, like you can eat these. All right, lunch, so. But like I said, I would, um, Probably chop these up and put them into a pesto. You know, a little bit of butter. Be delicious. Mm. So even eating through these like five or six leaves, I'm catching a little bit of variation in flavor, but they all kind of still have the same kind of centralized flavor theme. Like if you had an apple tree and you pick the apples off of the apple tree, like season to season, they're going to be a little different. Just the slightest bit of variance and difference because of just the sunlight profile, the amount of water they picked up, if there was any fertilizer or any other 
you know, mineral effluent that kind of threw the runoff reached it. Um, it's going to change year by year. And so I'm going to say, yeah, the same thing with the cannabis leaves that from batch to batch, it's going to taste different. Even from leaf to leaf, it's just going to be just a little different. But some of these are a little more bitter than the others. But yeah, like I said, they're all still kind of tasting like parsley. So for this, for Patty, you know, that, that's cool. I think you could do the stems too. They're kind of tougher. They're going to have um, like a woodiness to them. It's not really going to be like trying to eat sticks or cinnamon. Seems like it'd be kind of rough. I wonder if um, you could grind down the cannabis into like a powder maybe. And then it's kind of like a non-soluble fiber. That's a thought. But this is the last of them. But yeah. Mmm. That was a really good one. So yeah, you should grow cannabis because it's also a food crop.